guys, welcome to Rhino Feed. I'm going to do a review of Pinboard, a great social bookmarking service. Um, now, social bookmarking services, of course, are not new at all, but I really, really enjoy this one. First of all, Pinboard, as you can see here, is not free. It is $9.32 and will probably go up in the future. When I originally bought it, it was $9.30. And they have an interesting pricing scheme because every 1,000 new registrants, it goes up one penny. So since I've registered, there are 2,000 new members. So I'll sign in here. First of all, I'll talk about the design. It is lovely. I love how simple and almost utilitarian design that this is. Just It reminds me of Craigslist. It's just links whiteness. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> so... And plus their site is super fast, responds really well, and because you're paying, you don't have to deal with ads. Even though I have ad block here, it's not doing anything. I could disable it if you really don't trust me, but I'm sure you do. <laughs> yeah, there's no ads on Pinboard. So that's nice. Um, first of all, let's just go. A lot of people that are have dealt with social bookmark bookmarking services they know this whole tags list, but Pinboard has a few options here. Basically, uh, 20 stands for how many bookmarks are in that tag. So all of these tags have at least 20 bookmarks, and then you can go 10. These are all the tags that have at least 10 bookmarks. These are all the tags that have at least 5 bookmarks. All the tags that have 2 bookmarks. And then, of course, all of your tags in an alphabetical list and then your top tags which is just a tag cloud so yeah that's that you have here all of your uh, your kind of ways to sort your bookmarks if you're trying to organize them you can see all your private bookmarks which I have none public bookmarks all your unread which you can use pinboard as kind of your own read it later service so I was originally kind of using read it later but now I use Pinboard strictly now. It's it's just great. <laughs> and um, untagged. So I gotta do a lot of tagging. <laughs> but uh, starred. So this is uh, one day I was looking for a lot of hosting. Starred bookmarks are basically for like a temporary, um, kind of a temporary thing. You don't usually keep a lot of bookmarks starred. But if you wanted to quickly get back to them, that's kind of what you would use. Um, uh, Pinboard also archives all of your tweets. You can import that. So it's kind of nice if Twitter ever decides to die, which I doubt it. But, yeah. And then you have tabs, which is also a great feature of Pinboard. Um, if you have the Google extension or Safari extension, and soon to be Firefox extension, he was working on that tonight, I was looking at his Twitter page. Um, you can just click here and you can save it as a tab set. So if you ever want to get back to your uh, back to your tabs to read but you don't really want to bookmark them or even mark them as read later, you can just simply save it as a tab set and you can get back to them later. So interesting. And these are all your tab sets. So you can get to them and uh, this is just some YouTube videos I wanted to watch. You can one click, it reopens your tabs that you saved. So that's a really nice feature. Um, let's go back here to my page. And Pinboard has a lot of support for editing and organizing your bookmarks really quickly. So if I just click edit here and I wanted to add a tag to the entire page, I could click this page and then add um, freaky clown as a tag and you can it tells you how many items there are you can confirm and it's done it to all of them at once and then you don't want that so you click on your freaky clown tag and then you click edit up top here and then you just type in the tag name yeah I don't like freaky clowns either select the entire page and remove the tag. And you just did that for the entire tag. And then you can add stars, remove stars, make stuff private or public automatically or 
read or unread, or even delete a lot of tags at once, or bookmarks rather, at once. So it's a great way to edit your bookmarks really quickly. And then you have Organize, which is also a great feature of Pinboard. You click this and it shows you a quick preview right as you're going through your bookmarks. So if I wanted to add a tag, oh, I'm sorry, I clicked right in the frame, that's why. It, if you click in the frame, it brings you to that page. Let's start over. Okay, so, oh, Empire Avenue doesn't like you doing it. So certain pages don't like being in iframes. Jerks. This is terrible. I'm trying to do a video. Next. Okay. So this is a Newegg page. Um, hmm. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. Next. Organize. Next. Next. No! Oh, let's see, maybe I can grab this URL up here. Organize all and just go directly to three. No, I think you don't want. Okay, so this is just a simple Twitter post. Um, I use Pixel Pipe. But right here on this page, it shows you a preview, and then you can add tags or mark it private or read later description, title, all on the fly, and you can go to the next one, edit that. This is uh, Empire Avenue as well, so it's probably going to boot me out. But, yeah, certain websites really don't like you doing that, but hopefully, most of the time when you're going through your bookmarks that it would work properly. <laughs> because that is kind of a handy feature where you can preview a page right on the fly. You can just go through them and it says where you're at. So, let's see here. Um, yeah. So, another thing that they have, I'll just go through the top links. History, it shows all the links in my bookmarks that I recently clicked. And then network, which is you can follow or friend people, just kind of like Twitter or Facebook. So you can see what other people are bookmarking, which I'd like to, but I haven't found anyone to follow yet. So, oh well. And on the recent bookmarks page, you can just see what the entire public is, is bookmarking and the tags. Um, you can also search them. So if I was looking for something regarding uh, web design, I could just search that. And then, uh, oh, I'm sorry. By default, if you press enter, it searches your bookmarks. But if you, uh, if you click search all, it searches the public's bookmarks. So then you can see what other cool stuff is out there that's tagged uh, web design. You can see popular links that are out there. This is kind of like a Reddit or Dig type thing. Uh, popular tags. Apple is always a good one. Kind of fun. <laughs> and then uh, you can add your URLs right here if you really want to, but there is a Chrome extension which I'll get to later. You can add notes, which they haven't added to the Chrome extension, but this is also kind of a handy feature just to write notes to yourself. So cacti are cool. Rhino feed. This is an interesting note. And you can make it public or private right there. I'll just say this is a private note so you can kind of see. Um, it saves it as a web page, as a bookmark. And then um, you can edit this, make it not private. But another thing that's interesting is if I wanted to have tags, only certain tags private, all I have to add is a period in front of them. And then publicly, nobody sees that tag. So if I go to my pinboard account from the outside, I just opened a new uh, incog incognito <laughs> Chrome page. Um, you can see here in my list, if I click all tags, search Rhino feed, it's not in the tags list. So that's also kind of handy if you want to be sneaky like that. And yeah, it shows gray if the tag is public or private or if the bookmark is public or private. It's gray. 